Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Pierre, and uh, we're at Ichuka today, and at the moment, I'm under the wharf uh, in the old Ichuka area. This is a rebuilt one, basically, and just doing a quick walking around tour. I will be doing some more videos in this place in the near future, so stick around for more. You enter this building, we're going to see what the tour is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have those apart from those activities, we yep. have our paddle stand with cruises going. Yep. So all four cruises today. Yep. And then we have that uh, prize tomorrow as well. Sunset, two hour sunset cruise tomorrow night. And then we have yeah. an Easter schedule. So you've got a lot of uh, merchandise here too, look at this. Nice little old like style relics and things that, that you can buy. It's got a bit of a price on it. But... Okay. Opera glass binoculars. Sun sundial press. Compass. Sundial compass. Look at that watch. How cool is that? How much is it? 100 bucks. Like that. Another one over here, that'd be obviously $100. Telescope. Look at that. How cool is that? Very nice. I love this sort of stuff. Yeah. They really look good. Rustic and old looking. And I mean, if you want to buy something, why not? They look pretty cool. And then you got all the stuffed toys. They even look after their, um, their own selling stuff at their own. Creators, it's good. Farm goat. I should get a um, I should get a Richard hat. Richard hat. A Richard hat. Should get a hat, shouldn't I? Just a. I've got this hat. It's Dad's hat. Yep. The hat. The hat. I don't need to. So we're in the free museum. Oh, look at the diorama. Day in the life of the port. So this is a nice little diorama of the port. That once was, still is. Welcome aboard. And uh, most of the industry of steam power back in the early days with all the workshops. Steam power really did make it cheaper run. While we're doing this, you can hear whistles um, of the steam trains. Absolutely not a sound, you can't really go past that. <laughs> and apparently these are the whistle towers. How cool is that? Meet the whistles. The Chukaria was thriving in River Town and his heart. Hundreds of majestic pedal steamers linked in Uchuka with inland pedal steamers built and powered from timbers fell in the surrounding red gum forest. Red gum and lasts forever. The steam powered these vessels. These three stacks illustrate various stages of timber milling process. Ah, oh I see. So this is a rough, rough, and then that's a milled one, all varnished and ready to go. So they must have milled it while it was banded. Nice to hear, nice to see. So this is a little, no entry, so this is a flood damage area. We had massive floods here just recently, so we'll have a look at that later. You guys aren't waiting for me, are you? No, no, So, um, we're in a hurry. Um, so we went to the hotel and we'll get... This bloke's working really hard. <laughs> Have a look at this. This is a, what is this? What is it? Humble Nicholson. 
Vulcan Foundry. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Hi, good. How are you? Is there a plaque around? It tells you about it. Oh, there's a bloke there. Oh, hello. Oh, wool press. It's a wool press. There you go. It's a screw. How does it? I wonder how that works. It must rotate and go faster. Maybe? Ah, wood too. So when you turn it, there'll be a belt that runs something up here. And as it goes down, it'll actually get more compact, more stronger, I think. I really don't know. These blokes here, looking a bit shabby, mate. A couple of tools that they used to use. This is a... All part of boat building as well. Look at that, all the tools, the shavers. There's some of the tools there. The shave or spoke shave, I suppose they would call it. Locks. Not usable anymore. Pretty cool. Bark canoe. Canoe. Where's the bark canoe? Bark canoes. Is that a bark canoe? It's not really a bark canoe, but it kind of looks like one. Fragile display under construction. Oh, yeah. So they're just building it at the moment. What are we looking at here? A possum cloak. A cloak made of possums. Oh, geez. Once every item Aboriginal people use in South Australia, they use possum skins as cloaks. How about that? So I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I'm showing you anyway. Hopefully you like it. This is a wool press from 1880. Look over this bloke's shoulder and see what he's got over here. He's got some wool, beautiful. Oh wow, women of the river. Heather Rendell, Beth Connor, Helen Coulson, and Jenny Watson. They obviously did some stuff here and revised the place. They're not from the old times, they're from now by the look of it. Hey, I want to show you a picture. Bloody beautiful, I'll check it out. It's a pity the glass is reflecting there. Hey, here we go. Beautiful picture. So this is a, um, this must have been a loading area where they load all the stuff in. I've forgotten, I've been told what this is, but I've forgotten what it was. So you used to be able to go, you usually can go down here. Oh yeah, they blocked this off, we can't go down there today. We used to go down here. Yeah. It's all damaged. Just recently, there was massive floods that came through here and it does flood, the water line uh, comes up to just along here there's um, the water line, it can go right above on the land and actually rise. This river can drop really low and there's some sunken chips. When it drops, you can see all the sunken chips or the buggered ones. There's a barge there, if you can see it. But uh, yeah, this is all being blocked off because it's been damaged by flooding. So we can't use it or can't tour it at the moment. I think they're gonna have to repair it all again. Anyway. So yeah, usually we come down, if you can see in the background there, you probably can. Just up there, that's where we usually come down, but that's been damaged by floods. Just here to... Must be where we assemble, so we're all coming down the stairs here to get the tour. They've been cleaning up here, so all everything's been raked and readied for new... Um, what do you call them? New passengers or new tourists. Now I come here with a group of people and they are very tolerant of me filming. <laughs> I can see why, because I, I do film and it sometimes can be a pain in the butt for them, boring as shit. <laughs> so we're going to travel on one of these very soon. So we're going to hopefully, hopefully uh, we'll get a bit of that in the next video. All right, let's check out these computers. <laughs> taking in the afternoon sun along the riverbank. I love a chuka, and I pray for a prosperity every day. Yeah, amen to that, Joseph. <laughs> you like that? They burnt the Rodney. It was a battleground for bitter conflict between squatters and shearers. George? George Henderson, isn't it? Come into the 
Guns fan. Produce wagon. Oh, yeah? Imagine living in here. Obviously, this is where they operated the cranes. This bloke looks like he's having a wee. Oh, no, he's not. He's operating a crane or some type. Nice. We'll go into the cargo shed and have a look around there. Look at that, these. Just in 1947, they moved to Alexander Arbuthnot. That's amazing. A lot of construction and a lot of technology for the time. Beautiful. I haven't been in here before. It was closed last time I came in. Oh, a little bit of a rumpus room, a bit of entertainment. Play a bit of chess, guys. There we go, something. You can see Victoria. Okay, so if you guys can see this, that's the border of Victoria. Run straight down, that's how Victoria looks in the maps, and it's bordered by the actual river all the way up until we get to about here. Interesting. The old school desk. Hey, teacher, what are you doing? Little kids recreation center, it's a really good area. Something for everyone, how about that? Look at the train, it's got its light on. Okay. Last time I came here, I didn't do all these areas. The guys are gone, I don't know where they've gone, I'll have to find them later. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go over this bridge anyway, to walk over. See if I can find anyone. They're probably somewhere close by. Well, I could spend hours here walking around looking at the place. There's so much to look at. You guys should come over and look at it. It's really awesome. All right. These strong, riveted iron boxes were made in England in the 1930s and used to seal containers for shipping cargo out to ensure the valuables were not damaged by seawater. Things like china, pottery, fabric, tea sugar would be dispatched in them. When filled, they are sealed up and goods arrive in the best condition for the time. Shipping is probably a bit better nowadays, but you know, pretty good for the time. Look at this, look, look. Beautiful. How you going, mate? You're looking good. I'm going to see if I can climb onto this train here. Look at this old train station or wharf train station. Can I get a ticket, please? I want to go to. I don't know. I'm going to get out of here. We said all aboard, I'm on. Oh, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. A little bit of rubbish in there. Oh, wow. This is noisy. Get down the road there, mate. Hey, that's better. There's a seat here. Uh, yeah. Little lever here. I don't know what that would have done. It's probably opening for steam or something. It's got a spring on it. So there's a chug down here. Control everything by handle. Whoop, whoop. And uh, look after everything as it went. So yeah. This little steam lever. This is how we used to control trains. How about that? 
big wheel, keep on turning. This is a coal, the coal bunk. Oh, wow, how cool is that? What's in here? <laughs> Noisy bugger. So that's a bit of a historical little train, that one. Oh, cool. What's in the back? What's in the back can tell me? I can't see. Okay, I have to find my uh, rest of my clan now. They've disappeared, so I'll have to walk and see what I can find. Well, I hope you liked that little tour. Um, I'm going to do a boat cruise as well, and I'm just about to go into the Pioneer Village or the village that they have, and we'll do that as a separate video. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.